Hello YouTube, next to the six here, and I'm going to be playing Castle Crashers. Um, this video is dedicated to Metal Chicken because he wanted to know what this game was like and if he should get it. It is 1,200 Microsoft on the Xbox Marketplace. I have no clue on the PS3, but um, this game is really fun and entertaining. As you see, he's in the party, and I just left the party because I didn't really want to talk to him while making this video. So starts off with some cool music, you know, pretty cool. Um, so when you get started, there's the green guy, there's the orange guy, the blue guy, and the red guy. And um, wait till I start. There's gonna be three game modes when you go to local, um, local game. There's gonna be all you can eat, which is a game where it's just for fun. And you just try to see who could eat the food, and you have to press two buttons as fast as possible. There's an arena where you do different game modes and fight, and then there's the local, which is the campaign game. And I'm gonna name off the characters. Right now, I just show all, all, all my characters. And the pink one, I think you can eat for free, so. And it shoots rainbows and crap. And uh, wait till I get to the spot where. Okay, yellow is fire, blue is ice. Red is electric, and green is poison. These are all the magic types that you will be, like, they're the magic things that you do. And then I go to the alien, which is the one I'm going to be using, which is level 31. It's my highest level. And, um, yeah. So, um, there's all my skills. I have all maxed out. And I'm gonna go to a mission, and yeah, you're gonna watch a gameplay, and I'm just gonna stop the recording when you when I start playing. So, um, I'm playing in an ice world, and just enjoy this gameplay. I will be back after this gameplay. Okay, I am back, and um, I hope you enjoyed that little gameplay I just did. Um, now that that's over, you saw that I got a couple coins, and um, you can spend those in a shop. And oh wait, really fast, I'm gonna show you a uh, clip of what a boss would look like. As you see in the background, you'll see princesses, and just watch this clip really fast before I begin talking again. Okay, as you can see, it's really easy to kill a boss. That's only because I have the max stats. 
And as you see, I love using stuff. So when you kill the boss, you'll see a treasure chest that falls down from the sky. And when you break this, you're going to be loving what it gives you. A rainfall of money. And um, it's a lot of money. And uh, each boss has this, like the main boss, and there's four bosses. And so after you collect this money, you can you chop the rope from the princess, or and then you just make out with her. So cool, you know, little thing for each boss. Um, yeah. After this, I'm gonna show you a shop and what basically they have. So there's what a boss thing would look like. So now you get the point. And this is a crappy store, but it usually stores have weapons and they'll have potions and sometimes they'll have bombs. Not all do, but some will. And um, I'm going to go to a better store because that one's pretty crappy. It's the first one, so just wait till I get there. Climb up this hill. And there's a lot of maps in this game. Okay, so I'm at this store and there's a weapon, a grenade, or whatever, bomb potion and then there's something called a man witch and what it does is it makes you turn huge and you saw that in the snowland gameplay so it like makes you really strong and buff and just kick people's asses basically that's what it is and um so now i'm gonna leave this and i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go to the the i forget what it's called here let's just see what it's called i think it's called i don't know but Let's see, it's called a blacksmith. And um, to the right, you'll see this giant, I forget what they're called, but monster, I'll just call it. And this is where all your weapons will be located. And you can grab any weapon you want, but for some reason, it wouldn't let me grab these because it's for different uh, characters that I could grab those for. Um, so, yeah, you could grab any of your weapons in there. Uh, and the bow which is where it holds all your pets and you can find pets in hidden places and this nurse will tell you where what your pet does and so this thing troll slowly regenerates your health and um there's going to be a trash can you can throw away your pet and it'll go back where it came from um this giraffe thing it gives you double xp um so that's kind of cool and yeah uh, I'm trying to get the health thing, and then I keep getting the ram and the bat and stuff, and then I finally get it. Uh, and I'm going to show you where hidden pet is in the pet room. So, as you see in the top left corner, there's that pet right there, and you could actually get that if you just do magic jump. But I didn't really want it because I don't remember what it does. I think it just makes you jump higher, so I don't really think that's useful, but whatever. If you want to jump higher, get it. So now I go to another boss, and this boss is the second boss, I'm pretty sure. And um, obviously, I kill him fast again because I have max stats. And uh, so it takes a while to get there, and you're not gonna understand why the boss is crying at first. So you need to play the game to actually realize that uh, metal chicken. And so I hope you get this game and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Peace. And subscribe to my channel. Well, not you, Metal, but other people that watch this if they do. Um, yeah. Hopefully you get this game on Monday or whenever you're going to get it. Peace.